Hello guys, I'm MVV here and we are doing a new career mode. I've scrapped the Monaco career mode because I didn't enjoy it. And I thought, you know what, let's do a road to glory with a twist, guys. Now, a twist road to glory career mode with a twist, basically, guys. Why have we got all these good players already, guys? Because I, I can't transfer them, guys. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a career mode where players grew and how they would do. I need some of the highest penalty players in the game, guys. We don't have any benches, though. So basically, this is our full starting team, and it's such a good team, guys. And I've decided to pick the lowest team in the whole of England. That's Accrington Stanley, guys. But we have got money as well. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, but really, I just wanted to do a career mode that I would enjoy. And this is the career mode that I have chosen that I would really enjoy. And we've already got a night rated player there, Kai Naismith, who we're going to sell. Get some money in for him. And basically, build our squad up. Come on, give us some good news here. Right. Right, Telemans, they're looking for me. He's a bright future, guys. Jack Formula for all these players. Telemans gonna grow, guys. We know that. We look for a striker immediately. Um, Bellerin, don't know why they put loan listed, but these are a couple of guys I might want to loan for the season, guys. But want to get the money first because I'm gonna start scouting with this team, which is my main aspect of his career mode to scout, get young players, and take them into the. And we got our money for this guy. If Barcelona meets his price tag, which is actually a decent 46 million, we can do that money to build a team around it. Come on. Come on, Barcelona. You know you want to. 44 million, guys. That's off his price tag. We'll set that. So we'll bring Kai Naismith to the club, guys. And he'll be a very good player for us, guys. Well, he's going to well, he's gonna leave the club, I mean. And we're going to have some money to spend. So... First of all, guys, we need to set up a youth scout. Got a 4 million guy there. Oh, it's nothing much good there. Are you kidding me? But we got a young guy there who's going to give us some good scout talent, guys. And we're going to sign possibly some young players that are not really going to develop places and hire a scout here. It's nothing good either, guys. We're going to wait for the players to come. We've got a five-star experience, one which I actually set up myself. So he's going to go to England. When's already set up in England? We're going to send one in um, Germany, I think. Well, this one is at Australia. No. We're going to manage him, definitely. We're going to get him away from Recall Scout. John Thompson, you can go get the good one for England. But we've got this guy. He's looking for a new club. He's first in quality. Maybe. I don't really know yet. Right. Right, we're going to hire... No, we don't really want to hire scouts now. We're going to wait until we find some good youth scouts. First of all, we get some young players in. Right. Who should I sign, really, in all fairness? Because I don't think I need to sign anyone, basically. <sighs> contracts are the biggest for us this year, guys. Obviously, we're going to set up new contracts for everyone at this club. Obviously, I need to go out and transfer some players, first of all, guys, because... Some players I don't want it in the club. Mm. Our below, guys, we need to recently just put pe people saying they're not available for contract. Um, we need to offer a new contract. This young guy, staying a squad rotation player. Basically, going through anyone that this guy again, a young guy we need to possibly keep. For the season, um, Bowerman guys, mm. again, these young guys need to start keeping at this club, really. Is the only guys, basically, that I really want to keep here. Again, this guy, McCarty, whatever his name is, a crucial first team player. No, he's not at this club, he's going to be important. Hopefully, he does accept that. Darba guys, a young keeper. Sporadic, we're going to keep him at that. Grawnell. Has something special. We could use him. He's own. I want to keep this guy for some reason. Someone tells me we need to keep this guy. Really, that's really it. All these players are currently negotiating. But there is some old guys, guys, that we really need to get rid of in this club. 
Like Proctor guys recently joined us. That really annoys me. Hunt guys, this guy Hunt. I transfer us. He's never gonna be used at this club. But I'm gonna go and check it back on our youth scout to see if we've got anyone else that we can really use. Oh, it's not coming back yet. But we're gonna set up a scout mech with this guy. Germany for nine months and see what he does there. He's going to find us some young scouts from Germany where you can use this career mode. Hmm. Guys, later down the line, I might want to sign some pre contracts. For instance, this guy, Uma Zaghi. We're going to send this guy back. We're going to send this guy because um, he is um Spanish man to send him there. No, he's Russian, so we're going to send him to Sp Spain. Oh, you can move this. Really is annoying, but we sent Sir Go Alvarez and all that kind of stuff away to other places to find some good scouting. Here, come on. We've got a lot accepted here, but we got denied. Oh, what? I would like a greater squad. Well, where is Gay? Steedson. You would like a greater squad, well, score rotation player, even though you're not even going to play. Really, guys, just really want to do. We're moving along with this career mode. I really want this to be like my second career mode. What I'm doing, I'm not happy with the scrub wall you've given me. I'll leave you guys for now because I don't really need um um a player now. My um young guy sent me some nice scouts guys that I can really just um get to high over roles. Bellerin, I am going to inquire about. Since we want to go for five at the back, he won't be playing most games though. Mm. But spend all my money this now, guys, because I think if you... this guy's got. He's going to be quite cheap. He's young. Oh. Rung Sing Wong. Not the guy I want to go for. But we need a young, we need to build a young bench to now, guys, and really, hopefully my young characters can find some nice promising talent. Nicky Hunt, guys, I already put, I want him, they can pay his full value, because um, I really don't want him at this club, Nicky Hunt. If pay his full value, then they can get him. We need a very good young star, guys. I think we can go for in this club because we really need a young star, a guy that can develop. And I think I know who we need to sign, guys. He's in the BPL, and he'll probably not get played most games. And this guy has an overall... He gets a potential of 80. And that's Zelum, guys. He's loan listed. We're going to inquire about him. Because he'll be a good young bench player for the team. So do Gnabry, guys. Could be. It's in quite by him as well. We could raid Arsenal for young players here. Let's look at Chelsea, what players they have. Um, not much, guys. Really not young players I would really want this club, really. We're going to see what Scout brings back to me, really, basically. And what we'll see what young talent he can find me, but... 9.5, we could pay that. Definitely. We'll pay those two guys. We'll pay Zelums. As long with Bellerin. We're going to play his contract as well. So these guys are two future first team players that we're keeping here. These two would be nice. Two additions for our bench. And we are making some good. Good, good, good signings in this career mode. Except the offer of Nicky Hunt. Guys, we're going to accept that. We're not going to play anymore, but I want him off the team because he's 30 years old and 54, 54 overall. We're going to start our best team, guys. See how it does. Oh, I need to get some game time on these guys' belts. Few on win for Care and Paulson on the score sheet. And that's what we really want in this team. Accepted. Right. We're going to give this guy 10k a week. That sounds pretty big. But they'll be staying at future first team player for five years. Hector Bellerin and Zelum guys. If there's more players I want me want me to sign, 
I think these are two guys that we can really keep on the books, keep on that can grow. These are guys we're going to have from the start and can really develop at this team. Player sold. What happened? Oh, yeah, Nicky Hunt. He's away out of our team. And we're going to start our strongest team here against Grun. To no win. Don't care. We should beast people in our league, really. And we should get those two confirmed deals declined. I want a bigger squad role, of course. Um, you're not going to play most games, but you can be sporadic first team player. Zealum, guys, we're also going to put him on five years, plus he wants sporadic as well. So you get these two on sporadic here at Arkton Stanley. And build on such a good squad already, guys. Come on. Right, we've got accepted for Zealum, guys. We've accepted his deal. He will now join Arkington Stanley for near to nothing and will grow really high. Mm. Right, two. Two all. So, Matt, we got, haven't got the strongest of the team, guys. If you, uh, if you know what I mean. We haven't got the strongest. Right, Bellerin's accepted as well, guys. So, we've got two young players coming in from Arsenal. And those are the only business I really want to make, guys, in the team right now. So, for instance, we'll put Zelum and... If I can find Bellerin. Or is he already on the bench already? Yeah, he's already on the bench. Bellerin is a fast guy, guys. That's what we really want. He's a good, fast right back who can grow. And next to him, we've got Zelam, who, again, another guy who can grow. So, we've got two young bench people. And two very young players I really like, guys. So... Obviously, this guy, um, McCarthner, he's fast, but with these two are going to be our bench players. Now, considering the rest of the team, guys. Oh, Zvokic showing up 70 overall already. The thing, we need to sign some good young bench players. And I have people next for next episode, but we're going to skim through and try and get this episode done by... End of August, we'll end this episode right away to Morkham. Oh my god, please. This game sometimes. I know I know I'm sort of very negative going into the game. I'll take Berardians of Okotic on the score sheet. Won us a game against Morkham. And we are doing pretty well in the league after that win away from home. I'm right. Um transfer over to Terry Gronel, guys. A guy is on pretty big contract. We're going to see if we'll accept 350. Dagenham, but... Mm, it'll be a very good signing for us. But Scum for a Capital One Cup. Same team, guys. I'm sorry, but it's the same team we're going to start up in the Capital One Cup games. Because I'm not looking to rotate this year with the club squad. The current squad that we have at this club. Right, but already has scored the goal, guys, in the Capital One Cup. Sending us through into the next round. That really help, does help us. Come on. Performance, okay. Accept offer, guys. We're going to sell Grono. They'll get him, but that's really what I want to do this time. Come on, give us some... Mm, maybe I'll end the episode after this game, guys, because I need to know who you guys want me to sign, because I'm going to play it. Ooh, have we got player sold there? Yeah, Grono. In this club, really. It's a very good squad. Let's get into this game against Shrewsbury. Hopefully we get a win off. It'll be the end of this episode after this game. Ooh, Hatrick from Variety, but Neves is injured. So you might need the new centre midfielder, guys. Zealum, lucky I signed him, didn't I? But we, um, but Berardi's been insane, guys. He's been really good for us this year. Well, the start of the season. And I thought, you know what, let's bring Zealum on and see how he does for the remainder of the season while our guy is injured. So... Office, I'm going to try and get this episode done, guys, and then I'm going to go for January and see if we can sign. Basically, because I've set up, I'm going to set up some parameters now so they know who I want to sign at this club. We're not looking at strikers of first team quality. We're not looking at position of promising. Promising, yes. We want some good guys, but we want some pre contracts now. Guys that we can sign on pre contracts who are basically just like that. 
And here we also want some good players as well at this club who are basically just going to be, um, I think that's what we really want to do now, guys. That's what we really want to do. Promising and any position with that in it. I'm going to try and end. Mm, I'm trying to get some new players in on January that are promising. About going to spot. You're on the bench, mate, so I don't understand. Well, we've got Mount Scar update, which I'm going to go and check as well. He's found us one already. He's found us one already. Reject player, reject player, and reject. So we've got... Mm. First scout report has found some good young players. We found some good young potential players. They can grow quite high. It's on here now. Of players that can grow high. Potential. Why is Thomas Mill up there? I didn't want him. He's going to be too much to sign. We have got Brooks there, guys, who I might sign. You never know as our centre-back. But Ott, this guy, is apparently very, 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 as you would say, very, very, um, physically is quite a small person if you look at 5 foot 6. He's... So basically that's always came up with for that. Mm. Wouldn't say I'm annoyed, but after this episode, I said I was going to end the episode there. After this episode, I'm going to end the game and skim to January, and then we're going to check out the second episode. Come on. No, no. So, that'll end the episode here, guys. Thank you for watching the first episode of the Arkham Stanley. It's a bit of a weird one, Karimo, but, white-wise, thank you for watching this episode.